Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush Chowdhury. And again, we are coming with something new, something different. And I hope you people will definitely enjoy that. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about VA editor. So definitely you might have a question like, okay, why we are talking about VA editor and what is the purpose of this VA editor? See, first of all, this concept is coming from your Linux operating system. Okay, this is a concept of your Linux operating system. So those people who are using the Linux operating system, they might be really sure about the this VI editor. Now, what does it do? You know, let's try to understand. See, normally what happened, um, if I take the example of Windows operating system, like let us consider about the Windows operating system. Now in Windows operating system, let's assume that I want to create I want to create any file. Okay. Let's take example. I'm using Windows operating system. So if I want to create any file or text file, for that we will use a software called Notepad or Notepad Plus Plus. We will use right. So by using this software, normally you can create a file, create a new file. And if you want to edit a file, all these things is possible with the help of this Notepad Plus Plus software, correct? But this notepad software is not available in your Windows operating system. By default, you will not find this notepad plus plus available in your Windows operating system. So do we have any other software through which, you know, you can create a file, you can edit a file, right? So in Linux operating system, for that we are using a VI editor. So VI editor is a kind of software which is available in the Linux operating system. And by using that, you can create a file and you can edit a file. So in most of the Linux operating system, you will find that this software is already available. By default, it will be already available in Linux operating system. If it is not available, then you need to install the packages of that VI editor. And then you can use this VI editor. Fine. So Let's try to understand how to use VI editor. I'll just show you practically. So in VI editor, there are two modes are there. In VI editor, there are two modes are there. The first mode is actually your insert mode. And second mode, basically your command mode. So there are two modes are there, insert mode and command mode. So if you want to go inside the insert mode, you need to press I you need to press I. Okay, before that, let's try to understand about insert mode. What is insert mode? See, if I run the command like VA abc.txt, the simple syntax is abc.txt. When I'm running this command, so it is going to create the new file. If this file is not exist, if file is not exist, what it will do, it will create a new file. And if the file is exist, what it will do, it will open a file it will open a file if the file is exist. And if the file not exist, what it will do? It will create a file. It will create a file. So when you, you can use this command only when you have a VI editor available, okay? So you're using VI abc.txt, it will open a file. It may open existing file or it will create a new file. Now later on, when you got a new file, obviously, you are thinking that, okay, I want to insert something. So you are going to write down some content over here. Now, if you want to write down something into this, into this file, you need to go inside the insert mode. So insert mode is all about when you want to enter the data. Whenever you want to enter the data, that time you are using insert mode. Now let's assume that I have inserted all my data. Okay. I have inserted all my data. Now, basically what I want to do. I just want to save it. I just want to save it. So whenever you want to save for that, you need to go inside the command mode. And how to go inside the command mode? By pressing escape. You need to press escape and then you will go inside the command mode. Under this command mode, you can perform the operations like let's say you want to save, you want to quit, you want to undo. All these operations you can perform under the command mode. Okay. Insert mode, you just need to insert a data. 
in the insert mode what you are going to do you are just going to insert a data okay so that's the plan what we are going to do now okay so i hope you understood like what is insert mode what is command mode what is vi editor so in a very simple word i would say whenever you want to edit a file that time you can use vi editor whenever you want to create a file that time you can use vi editor there is one more command is there cat command by using cat command also cat and file name by using this command also you can open a file but when you want to perform the operations like search operations you want to edit something preferably we we, we use this v editor okay preferably we use this v editor i'll give you a small example also how to use this v editor this v editor you know it's a very big concept um, it's very difficult to cover up everything into the single class but i'll try to make sure that you people will understand it okay so for that what i will do first of all i'll go to the i'll go to the my ubuntu operating system let me go to the ubuntu operating system so basically my intention is that i'm going to open my ubuntu operating system and then i'll show you how you can use this vi editor in the ubuntu operating system the way i'm going to show in the ubuntu operating system the similar way it is going to run for other linux operating system so there is no problem in that okay so let me open the virtual box so i'm opening the virtual box here and i'm starting my ubuntu operating system here okay so this is my user with the name learnomate let me log in with the help of my learnomate user and i'm entering my password fine i'm op opening the terminal okay so currently i'm inside the desktop location if i want to create any file so i'll say vi and the file name whatever file name you want to give let's say i'll give the name like oracle 2.txt i'm just giving the name like oracle 2.txt so if this file is already exist what it will do if the file is already exist it will open a file if the file is not exist it will create a new file so i'm pressing enter you can see in the bottom it has clearly mentioned that it is a new file in the bottom you can see here that it has created a new file now i want to insert my data when i want to insert my data i'll press i so i'll go inside the insert mode and then i'm going to write down my things like i am in learnomate class let me save it colon wq done so colon wq let me enter it one more time now this file i have already created now when i'm opening the command when i'm using the same command again this time the file is exist so it has opened the file now let's say i want to insert something again i will press i because i am going inside insert mode i am learning linux with ankush sir okay so i'm just writing down this basically i want to save the file if i want to save the file i am pressing escape okay i'm pressing escape currently i'm inside the insert mode i'm pressing escape now this is my command mode this is my command mode now if i want to save it so i'll say colon wq is the command to save it press enter and if i'm using the same command again again the file has been opened the file has been opened so this is the way you know you can create a file by using vi editor and this is a way you can edit a file i know that you people are understanding this concept very very well believe me this concept vi editor is very small concept but it is very very important concept whenever you are starting your career as a oracle dba or linux administrator or maybe you are working with any technology where linux is playing an important role so i thought like you know this concept might be very important for you those people who are interested to start their career into the oracle dba or any other technology for training purpose for training purpose you can reach out to the learnomate teams the numbers are available over your screen please comment as interested if you are looking for new video on this different different technologies and you can follow us on our social media platforms 
like instagram linkedin you can join our whatsapp group the links are available in the description of this video bye bye thank you and let's wait for new video